Alright lads, welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 19 Rangers career mode. And yeah, this is episode 4 and we've got 3 more games and the first game of the Europa League against Villarreal, of course, reverse them in real life as well. And uh, see the start there, Barry Mackay, he has just moved to Swansea, apparently to this game, I don't know if he has or not, I've not really, really been keeping track. But, um, yeah, so I can't buy him or loan him because I've just signed him and I did see... Celtic actually, uh, they've sold like four players in Cham, Griffiths, Tierney I think it said, over a, a cumulative 29 million and they've not brought anyone else in, so yeah that's a bit weird. But we go into this first game at home to Hibs, so you know, a game that we'd look to win but a tough game definitely. But Hibs on the attack now and it is McLaren giving it on to the, the other player and he has a shot. And it goes wide of the target. McLaren now on the ball gets tackled by Connor Goldson and it goes out for a corner. And that is Emerson Hyman, the ex Rangers man, obviously only there for like a, a season. But he swings that one in and it is Effie Ambrose to win the header. McGregor came out and was nowhere near it. And yeah, Effie Ambrose scoring against us. That's exactly what we don't need. And yeah, uh, but it's happened. So we've got to deal with it. Terrible mistake by McGregor. I mean, well, it's not a coincidence. Yeah, it, it, yeah these terrible kind of by McGregor. Situations. I think Big Katic blocked him actually, but anyway, he didn't even get a jump on McGregor, so that, that was a bit disappointing. But anyway, Stephen Davis on the ball right for kickoff, coming on to Arfield, onto Jack, putting it through to Morelos. He has a first time shot and he finds the top corner. There you go, that's how easy it was. We're actually struggling to break Hibs down like before Hibs scored. And it's as if they just they just took their foot off the gas when they scored and we came right back at them and got the goal. This is a good build-up play, straight from kickoff and good pass by Jack. Through some Melos, great finish that is across the keeper into the top corner. But now Hibbs on it again and coming forward on the attack, they play over to this near side. He has played through to their striker McLaren, I think that is. He has a shot but simple save by McGregor, probably going wide I think. And that's going to be half time, so yeah, one each. Um, not the worst performance, not the best, but we have a throw in. And it gets given on to Barisic. Barisic then swings that one in. It gets headed out. On to Ryan Jack. Oh my god. What a strike that is by Ryan Jack. That is brilliant. I mean, last game we scored a goal by Morelos. But, yeah. I mean, Jack's goal was good, but nothing with Morelos. He's if you missed last episode, by the way, go back and watch it. Because I did upload it like just before midnight yesterday. So I don't think a lot of folk actually saw it. So if you haven't saw it, go back and watch it. There's a card coming up right now. And yeah, I think the, the other career mode team is Derby County. That won the majority of, of votes. So yeah, Derby County and your career mode team, I'll try and start that on Friday or Saturday. Just whenever. Because uh, I won't have time on Wednesday because I'm going to Ibrox. Yes. Uh, tomorrow that is. So we'll going to the air game. Not too shabby that. We'll get a wee, a, a wee match day vlog going on. And also there is a the France vlog coming out from, uh, tomorrow from last week, the second one that I didn't actually get around to editing. I got around to editing, editing it today, so, you know, got this done, got tomorrow's video done, I'm all sorted. So yeah, uh, I'm just trying to get the videos coming, keep it every day, if I can't do every day, every second day. You know, I try not to leave more than a day's gap. With the FIFA 19 coming out, I'm trying to get as much gameplay and as many videos as I can out as possible and also leave down below if you would like me to do ultimate team videos uh, one of my pals at work who was I was played in the football team with him like two years ago boys club aye doesn't, that's irrelevant anyway but yeah he said to me uh, I should do ultimate team videos so if you want me to do ultimate team be sure to leave a comment down below but back on to this I swear to this every episode I uh, ramble on for the first game and then I, I say right let's now commentate and stop rambling on for the second game, so yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to say. Let's stop rambling on and get on to the commentating in this game against Motherwell at Fur Park, but it's Ivy Lane, obviously, in this game. But we managed to get off to a great start with Stephen Davis getting his first goal on his return to Rangers. And, yeah, it's a great goal by Davis. The commentator was actually saying he wouldn't get an easier one in his career, and I'm like, give him some credit. It was a, it was a good pass and play, and I good. You know, I, he still had to score it, you know. It's not as if it was an open net. I mean, for Stephen Davis's quality, you would expect expect him to score that, well, but that really means credit. nothing. It still doesn't take out right take away right from a, a a good finish and a, yeah, a not not an easy situation. I mean, you should be scoring in that situation, but you know what my point is. It's no open net, so it's not an easy situation. But anyway, ah, I just ramble on. Yep. Anyway, onto this game again, and on the attack, we get the ball from a, a clearance, and Arfield with the shot. Unlucky not to hit the target. Probably should have hit the target, but. 
He didn't. Now Jack on the ball. Holding it up, giving it on to Davis, on to Morelos. Morelos with a fake shot into the box now. Chips it over, the, over Cadden. And like that was brilliant by Morelos. Ref gives a penalty. And yeah, like, the way he fake shot it and then just chipped it over Cadden as he was coming in for the side tackle. That, that was brilliant. I mean, I would say I meant that, but I didn't actually have any control over the chip. Like, look at that. Morelos just done, they just done that, like, automatically. So I was happy at that. And I, I am going to say sorry about this. I did try and get rid of the arrow coming up. We've got a penalty with Tav, obviously, but the arrow, I hate the arrow, but we score with Tav, so that's good, but uh, I'm going to try and, you know, deselect the arrow, because every time I watch a career mode and I see someone taking a penalty with the arrow, and then they go and celebrate, it's like, but you, you were being guided as to where it's going, like, I prefer not to know where it's, like, obviously, me aiming, but it's more legit if you aim and you don't have an arrow to, you know, feed, a spoon feed you where it's going but anyway rambling on again <laughs> and yeah uh, on to this attack again Barisic keeps it alive and gives that one into Ryan Jack Ryan Jack then gives it over to Candace Candace chips it on to Jack James Tavernier he hits it on the volley and he was unlucky it was a really good attempt I think it hit the joint and just went out but back in the attack for us is Daniel Candace Candace giving that one into Ryan Jack into Stephen Davis he goes into the box by his man has a shot but the keeper makes a Decent it's save there. Now Scotty Arfield giving it on to Morelos. I'm sorry, it was Davis. Davis anyway. Davis giving it through to Daniel Candace. Candace now position. into the box. Cuts inside of his man. Inside foots yeah, that shot. one. Into the near post. Yeah. I was surprised at that as well. Like, I mean, I meant to shoot, but left foot finesse into the far corner. No, a right foot finesse into the front post. It's like completely opposite thing. But it was, it, I mean, he literally had. He didn't, he, he didn't have an inch for right. error. Like, it was. He had to get it in that inch perfect spot. And he got it in, you know, right right in between the keeper's fingertips and the post. But McCrory on the ball has a tame shot effort, but that's going to be full time. 3 0 win against Motherwell, 2 1 win against Hibs. Good start to the episode, and that is uh, two wins out of two for the league. Now we go into the Europa League against Villarreal. And I just want to show off a wee bit of these graphics, and the. So obviously Villarreal Stadium is actually in the game, so it's the first official stadium we've played at this, this series. Um, so obviously Ibrox isn't in it, which is shocking. But Villarreal, there it is, and there's a group stage, obviously no games played, but Villarreal. Uh, there's a team, Baca, they've got Angel Di, Di Maria, Toure, uh, there's our team there. We've got a weaker team this time, we've got Gresda, Lafferty, um, Corey, Ijaria, Sutar and Warrell and Fordingham in. So we've got like eight changes, the only people are still in is Davis, Tav and Candias. So yeah, eight changes. Because we've got hearts at the weekend, so I thought, right, I'll, I'll save the team for that. But Eros Gresda, on his debut, I think, for this series, bangs in a header, right across it was from Candias. And Eros Gresda, the, the last person I expected to win a header, wins the header and scores it. So yeah, that was a really that's a really good start. Ten minutes in, obviously Villarreal had a really good start against us in real life. This game finished two all in real life, obviously. Um, they scored within 45 seconds. Scored, scored within 10 FIFA minutes, which is which pretty much like 45 seconds. So yeah, Villarreal in the attack right afterwards, and it is Fuego who gives it on to Toko Ikambi. And he bangs that one in, and yeah, we couldn't even hold the lead for four minutes. So yeah, it was pretty annoying. And to make things worse, he does that that dance like. What? You get ripped a new one if you actually done that dance in your life. To, to be fair, someone probably done that root dance in your life for a, for a football celebration, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a good goal, I'll give him that, but to celebrate like that, it's, it's unacceptable. But Di Maria, somehow with Villarreal, just walking by me for fun, is back on it, gives it into Fuego, he has a shot. Fodging them. The hell are you doing, man? Catch that! We, we need, no need to witness him doing that celebration. In fact, no, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not watching that again. One too many times. Carlos Baca now on the ball. Giving it on back to Atura. Atura into Baca again. To Di Maria. Swing it into Fedraza. That gets cleared out. Fuego then wins a header onto Atura. Into Baca. Into Toko. And it can't be. Oh my god, this guy's got a hat trick. This guy has got a hat trick against us. No, I'm not watching it. No. No. I'm not, I can't deal with that celebration, right? But anyway, still, right before half time, we're 3 1 down. Toka can be the mad dance man. Swings that one into Carlos Baca. And we're 4 1 down right before half time. Jesus. I mean, Toko can be three goals and an assist. He's having a game of his life. But 4 1 down. It was, I mean, 
actually playing. I, I'm actually playing better than we did in real life, and we're only one now down at half time. Well, so see, yeah, it's no, really that's not very good. With no uh, conceded four goals in one match. On it. it's a great <laughs> I can't remember last time I conceded four After goals in one match. On but Davis giving that one to Bresda in the second half. Bresda trying to pick out Lafferty, but he can. It comes out to McCrory. McCrory then gives it on to Morelos, who gives it on to Lafferty, Lafferty on to Kandias. Kandias has time, has a shot, but makes a good save. And we did go to a 4 4 2 at half time, took his Jari off, Morelos on. And the 4 4 2 was working as we get a goal there. Morelos running in, and Lafferty with the assist. 4 2, 32 minutes left, we can still get back into this game. But yeah, um, I should definitely have started with a 4 4 2. Obviously, your tactics, you don't know what's going to work, what's not going to work. But. Uh, the 4 5 1, just, I mean, I, I did select us a, a, a weaker team, so they have our strongest team out, but even still, we are Jaria, McCrory, and Davis. I did expect, I did have a higher expectations, but uh, well, we're 4 2 down, only only two goals in it. Toko Kambi comes forward, gives on to Dean Ria, touch and hit, bang, 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 5 2. And yeah, 50 minutes left, and we're going to come back for this. Um, Toko Kambi, I just realised there, three goals, two assists. What? His prices just went up like 20 mil. But anyway, 5 2 it finishes. Uh, poor game for us. Just got to get a chin up. Go into the next game. Hey, that's, that's, all, that's what we've got to do. But that's the end of the episode. If you like it, please do leave a like. Comment down below. Um, anything really much appreciated. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.